What we do is we say, okay, based on literally scientific research and validated by in-practice lab testing, we know that many women, especially women, not always men, but especially women, after a low-carb diet that's lasted for more than four weeks, keto diet, all of them, carnivore diet, et cetera, they start to plateau around week six. And when they do, they don't lose a lot more weight. And actually, they start to go in reverse. They start to burn more muscle tissue, so more catabolic nature. I'll talk about that in just a second. And their metabolism then starts to dip. So if they're on a low carb diet or not, they actually have to drop their calories, even though they've already dropped their carbs. And I had a I had a nice little conversation with uh, you would definitely know his name if I if I said his name, I'm not going to. Uh, but we were talking. Uh, this is on camera, and they were saying, well, a lot of their clients now have gone from being able to eat 2,400 calories a day, and they're on a keto diet. Now they only need to eat 1,200 calories a day. And I said to them point blank, and I said, listen, like you're. I mean, you know what you're talking about. You're super uh, knowledgeable on all of this. But has it ever crossed your mind that that's not a good thing? Meaning that you've effectively cut the people that you're teaching their metabolism in half. Because now their body's getting by on 1,200 calories per day. And please don't look at that as a good thing. That means that your body has stopped burning those extra 1,200 calories. Because if you stayed at the same weight at 2,400, and now you're maintaining the current weight at 1200 and you, there's maybe like a 10 pound difference. Let's just say that's all that it is. You've effectively, effectively shut down your metabolism. That is not ideal because I think most people would prefer to eat a little bit more food, but not only that, we way overlook this fact, a fact I'm going to be talking about this on a future podcast. It's easy to meet your micro, your macros. You can manipulate your carbs, your protein, your fat all day long. You could, all, you could cut your calories if you want to 1,200. The problem is it's really difficult. Without supplementation, without nutritional supplements, it's nearly impossible to get all of your micronutrients and all of the flavanols and everything else that you need for, you know, on those 1,200 calories a day. You need to be meticulous. And just, again, most people are not looking at that because they're simply trying to fit their macros. So what happens is now the body starts to become more catabolic. The body starts to age at a much faster rate, and that's what I see, especially for a lot of women in my practice as well, and especially if you're over the age of 30, 35, your body does not have the same reserves it did uh, when you were in college and before. So now we're looking at the metabolism lowering. So now when you go back to a normal diet, you can no longer eat the same amount of calories. 